Creating a product configurator with the blend for web template product. Intro. A live demonstration of a product always allows customers to look at a purchase from all sides, try on, play with, combine options. Without enough information, it's difficult for a customer to make a decision about purchasing products. However, with a 3D configurable model of a product, everything becomes more interesting. The blend for web product template allows you to create spectacular product displays, fill them with various optional details and sets of materials for various surfaces. The main feature of the template is the possibility for an ordinary artist to configure sets of options in the Blender editor, match price options and get a web application in one click. This kind of application can be connected to your own site or online store in the wantinsure.com cloud. Working with the product template. To correctly use this template, you need the latest version of blend for web Upon opening the product template file, select conf.py from the list of template files and click Run Script. In the panel Configurator that appears, click Elements to open a list of sections. To add a section to the list, click Add in the list. Every section is designed to keep the same kinds of options. For example, heels for footwear, doors for vehicles, or materials out of leather. Sections can be of two types, object or material. An object section is created by default. In order to change the section type, click the settings button, hamburger button, of the needed section and in the menu that appears, check the is material checkbox. Visually, in the list of sections, sections of different types have different icons. In order to rename a section, you need to select Rename in the drop-down menu from the section menu, hamburger button, and enter the name of the section in the appearing field. In order to delete a section, you need to select Delete in the drop-down menu from the section menu, or hamburger button. In order to move the location of a section in the section list, in the drop-down menu from the section menu, you need to select Move Top to move it to the first position, Move Up to move it up, Move Down to move it down, or Move Bottom to move it to the lower position. Objects and materials can be created in a section or added to it. In order to create a new element of a section, enter the section and click Add. A new object will appear in the element list of the section, and in the 3D editor, a unit cube will appear. If the section contains materials, to add material, assign it to the appeared cube. If the section contains objects, the unit cube will need to be turned into an object. In order to add a new element in a section, load an object from a blend project by clicking Append New Item. When the loaded object appears in the 3D editor, left-click on the object and select the correct section in the appearing list, after which the object will be added to the element list of the selected section. In order to move elements from section to section, you need to select an element in the element list of a section, left-click on the object when it appears in the 3D editor, and select a new section in the appeared list. Deleting an element from a section is done the same way as when moving elements, except you select Clear Section in the appeared list. To rename an element, you need to select the element and enter the new name in the field found on the Configurator panel above the JSON Editor buttons. An important element of a template is the possibility to configure the compatibility of objects and materials with each other. For example, to indicate that only these insoles and these materials match this heel, or that a convertible top is only available for certain vehicle body types. To configure the compatibility of an element, you need to click the hamburger button of the element. 
Then the list of sections will open and by entering the sections and checking or unchecking the checkbox of the elements of these sections, indicate the compatibility of the configurable element with others. Having configured the compatibility of elements, you can show prices for all compatible matches of objects and materials. Such a list is created in the template by clicking Price List. Prices.json, in which a JSON formatted list of all compatible object material pairs, and a line for a price of such a pair, will appear in the list of files. Currency is given in the currency line for the whole list of prices. You can view your resulting application by pressing Preview. Your default browser will then open an HTML page that contains your application with your objects and materials. In the application interface, objects and materials incompatible with the current options will be inactive. To change an object within a section, just click the desired object. To change applied material to an object, hover over the object's tile and select Change in the appearing menu. A list of materials will open from which you select the desired material. Also, after clicking the preview button, a conf.json file that contains the matrix of element compatibility will be added to the file list. By default, a placeholder is used for all objects and materials, just as in the element list of sections, as well as in an application. Clicking Screenshot All launches a function that looks through all objects and does screenshots which are saved in a folder with the blend project and are shown instead of the placeholder in the element list of the sections as well as in the application. If you wish to use your own icons, then simply replace the generated screenshots with your own images by selecting Image Upload in the item menu. A simple way to create these icons is making screenshots in the browser. Click Preview and in the window that opens, click Make Screenshots at the bottom of the right panel. This generates screenshots for all objects and materials. You can download these screenshots by clicking Download in the item menu in the right panel. To avoid overloading a scene with created or uploaded objects, we added a Hide All Elements button that hides all currently active objects in a 3D scene. The objects themselves are not deleted and can be activated through the element list of sections. When clicking the Export to Wantager button, objects are renamed in a format compatible to Wantager and a window opens for exporting in the blend4web.json blender format. Linking to your Wantager.com online store. After preparing your product configurator with the help of the Blend4Web template, you can link it to your online store, for example at wantinger.com. First, create an archive file with your product configurator. In order to do this, click the Export to Wantinger button, export your project from Blender, and archive the resulting set of files into one file. Note that files must be directly in the archive, not in an enclosed folder. For proper integration in Wantager upon exporting your project, you will need to enter logo.json as the name of the resulting file. Next, log into your Wantager account and go to the Websites tool. Create a site with the Showcase application if you don't already have one. Go to the Showroom section of the site, create a section and add a room to it. After that, choose the created room and move to 3D model selection. Click Upload above the opened editor and select the archived file with your product configurator. If all objects are properly named with a product prefix for product objects, then products are automatically put in the product place list of the showroom. By clicking on a product place in the right editor, you will open an editor to search by products in the price list of the current profile. A search with an empty request will return a full list of products. Now you can change prices for parts in your configurator without using Blender and constantly reloading a configurator, 
and a customer can not only select the desired product options but also reserve an appealing set. Conclusion As a result, this template allows us to create a 3D web application showing a product in the best light and link it to the order processing system, practically creating a fully functional 3D product card for vehicles, clothes and footwear, furniture and interior items from scratch. This kind of card is not simply a frozen frame, but a complete game for customers. In such a game, everyone can set his or her own combinations of options while considering personal preferences and get a personalized offer.